Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I have something to show you. I want to brag on God for a minute. This is almost a how-to. <laughs> Listen, I am working on my kitchen, as you can see. I've done my backsplash in Mother of Pearl. Well, my next assignment, I'm halfway done with my table. And I will show you that when I'm done. And I'll show you how I did it. But right now, I asked the Lord to show me how to lay a tile look on my countertop without it being tiled. Because I can't afford to buy all that. So look at what God gave me. I paid twenty-seven dollars, bought this so ugly, cheap commercial tile, texture on one side, a little bit of smoothness and shine on the other, and I bought some contact paper, <laughs> and I will show you what God told me to do. I bought it, and then God gave me the idea, because I was going to try to lay that, and it wasn't looking right. And I said, okay, God, I need another, I need another plan, but I don't want to waste my contact paper. That's when he told me to buy that. Now watch this. You ready? Drum roll. Brrr. Does that look like tile or what? I couldn't believe it. This is the way I laid it. Isn't that something? That's, I laid in the bed, and this is the idea. I could see it happening right before my very mind's eye. I was like, oh my goodness. I would never have thought of doing this. God gave me this idea. It pays to pray. God will give you all kind of witty inventions. So anyway, now I've got my countertops. And when I get through all the imperfections that show on the surface from the gloss will be hidden as soon as I also pour. I will finish this with my uh, amazing, I think it's called amazing, amazing, some clear coat amazing clear coat yeah and i am going to pour that over this when this is all glued down to my countertops and done set and cured then my next step will be to pour my epoxy over it and when i pour the epoxy over it i'm gonna add a few little touches here and there you know, with my hand, with paint, and also through the epoxy to make it really have a three-dimensional look that onyx truly has, especially the translucent onyx. Anyway, I hope that gave some of you ideas on some how-tos, how to save money. See, I like things to look expensive. I just don't want to pay the price. <laughs>